I'm a retailer and I am definitely not a CPA, but as a retailer, there are a few things that I need to triple check on my financial statements to make sure that I'm headed in the right direction. Hi, my name is Carrie Watson and I'm a specialty retail coach at Canadian Retail Solutions. Today, I have prepared a super simple uh, version of a balance sheet for us to review to make sure that our company's headed in the right direction. So a balance sheet, if you are starting from square one, a balance sheet is made up of assets and liabilities. Assets include inventory and liabilities include any credit card debt, long-term debt, um, operating line of credit. Um, what's important to remember here, if you don't remember anything else, what's important to remember here is that your merchandise immediately shows up as an asset. It is never recorded as a liability, aka your vendor invoices are never recorded as a liability. Now, remember that because your inventory really is a liability and we're about to discover why. So in 2019, our inventory is $75,000. We have zero in the term of liabilities because we don't have any credit card debt. We don't have any long-term debt in this instance. In 2020, we want to grow. So we grow our inventory by $25,000. At this point in time, we're able to keep up with our vendor invoices. We don't have any credit card debt. We still don't have any long-term debt. Our sales grow, so we continue to pad our inventory an additional $25,000. Um, so now we're at 125 versus the 75 that we were at just a couple years ago. We start to see cracks in our success. We can't quite keep up with our vendor invoices, so now those overdue invoices are not getting paid with our checking account, they're getting paid with a credit card. The situation continues to, um, to, to grow on itself, and in 2022, uh, we start to not pay vendors because we don't want any more credit card debt, and now we're on credit hold with these vendors. So now our assets are staying, our inventory is staying at 125, but now we're starting to convert some of that credit card debt into long-term debt. And it's just, we're going down the drain. We're not headed in the right direction because our inventory is starting to get stale. We're, our, our sales have sustained at the same level, but the amount of cash that we have invested in our business has increased by 50K. I mean, that's almost a 100% increase from where we started at in 2019. So these three, three things in particular are of utmost importance to watch out for. Increasing inventory, maintain sales that are not growing or about the same or growing very little and increased liabilities those three things put together your are 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 not they mean that your business is not headed in the right direction um, if you need help with any of this please reach out to us and we'll be able to turn that situation around and bring you back into the positive so talk to you soon.